Hey everybody, I'm here to film my November TBR. As you know, I don't do uh, like wrap-ups. I do weekly wrap-ups because I read too much. And by the end of the month, I can't remember sometimes the storylines. So this month, um, I probably won't get to all these books, but this is what I'm hoping to read this month. I'm going to finish reading Nosferatu by Joe Hill. And I probably will finish it actually today. And today is the 3rd of November. This is really good. Um, this book I am really needing to buy. Joe Hill is quickly becoming one of my probably auto buys and I will read anything by him without reading synopsis. He's just he's like Stephen King to me. He Well it's his son but I automatically will read his books without even knowing the plot. Don't care. Just read him. Um, I'm hoping to get to um, at least one of these, but probably two or three. Um, last month was a pretty heavy reading month, so I'm doing my light, what I call brain candy. And it doesn't mean that it's bad books, but I, I know a lot of people have a hard time with romance, and I don't understand why. I've been reading it since I was a kid. I love it. Especially historical. Mind you, I haven't read any in about a month. But anyways, um, you I'll probably get The Thing She Says by Kat Cantrell and The Billionaire's Bedside Manor by Robin Grady. My mom buys these every month, reads them, and then gives them to me. So I have 300 of these in boxes behind me in that white desk that I have to get to. And then once I finish reading these, I pass them on to a friend of ours. So they're continually getting read. We're not just keeping them on the shelves. Then I'm really excited to finally start the uh, Sookie Stackhouse series by Charlene Harris. And this is the first one, Dead Until Dark. Uh -huh. um, I don't know much about the series offhand. I know it's she's a bartender or cocktail waitress and vampires. So I've heard a lot of good things from them or about them. So I'm hoping to start those. Then, um, I've heard good and bad things about this, so, again, I'm going to form my own opinions on it, and it's Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. I'm not sure what it's about right now. I can't remember. Um, bad memory. Something about a teen dream pageant. Uh, the contestants thought it was going to be a fun trip to the beach where they could parade in their state-appropriate costumes and compete in front of the cameras. But sadly, their airplane had another idea, crashing on a desert island and leaving the survivors stranded with little food, little water, and practically no eyeliner. <laughs> That's cute. But I, I love the cover. Just because it's, you know, women can look pretty and still be tough ass. Or tough as nails, whatever. So we'll get to that one. Then I'm going to continue on with um, The Mortal Instruments, Book 4, City of Fallen Angels. I know a lot of people like the, or a couple people like the first three books. I'm going to finish the, the series. And then I'll go on to The Infernal Devices. But I'll probably be buying these as box sets. I like them that much. I don't tend to buy a whole lot of books if I before I know if I'm going to like them or not, unless they're authors I know, like Stephen King, Joanna Lindsay, Anne Rule, like like that. And then um, I do like true crime and some nonfiction, so I am going to be hoping to pick up Death in the City of Light by David King, and I just know it's about Nazi. Germany and and in Paris so around the World War two time that's about all I know I'm also hoping to pick up my daughter actually loved this book and went and watched the movie and loved it and it's the Duff by is it Cody Keplinger yeah Cody Keplinger and it's the designated ugly fat friend. And I just know it's about, I guess, the social interactions between friends. 
so we'll see how that goes. And I've been hearing so much about it, and I know a lot of people love it, and I've been told that I really have to read it. And it's Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Um, this would be my first Rainbow Rowell book, and I know a lot of people just rave about it. So I'm jumping on the bandwagon. And of course, another one that I'm jumping on to is um, Marissa Meyer's Cinder. A lot of people love it, and my daughter tried to read it, and she couldn't understand it. So I thought that was funny. Um, she's just not, I guess, into cyborgs. She likes vampires. So, And of course, from my weekly TBR, um, probably get to this one in a day or so, Middle School, Worst Years of My Life by James Patterson. I like his writing as an adult. I haven't read any in a while, so I wanted to check out his middle school books. Um, my daughter read it, and she liked it. So we have a couple here from the library, <clears throat> which we get most of our books from. Then I'm looking forward to Dumplin' by Julie Murphy, and it's uh, a plus-size woman who wants to enter a beauty contest, and she wears a bikini, and it's supposed to be hilarious. So, I know this is a long TBR, but I tend to read fast and by mood, so I like to have a whole stack of books that I can choose from. And I was wanting to get to this one last month, and I just did not have enough time. And that's Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. All I know is there's different towns, and once you get in, you can't get out. So, let's see about that one. And I just got this one in my Owl Crate box, and a lot of people are just swearing by it, and that's A Madness So Discreet by Minnie McGinnis, and it's about a girl who gets pregnant and gets put into an insane asylum. Should be interesting. Then, if I have time, huh, I'm hoping to start uh, The Asylum. I think this is a trilogy, I'm not sure, by Madeline Rue. And it's, I think it's something like... Um, the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, where it has like um, not so much storyline, but creepy photos. Like that. That's a creepy photo. And then the last book I'm hoping to get to, and I actually flipped through it already, and I like the style of writing. Of course, it, I, it's with her daughter that's writing it, so it's a little bit, I think, I think this is YA. But it's Jody Pico and Samantha Van Leer between the lines. But it's got pictures. I may have just turned 40, but I still like pictures in books. And even my, my nine-year-old son says that he likes pictures in books, too, and he wants pictures in books when he's an adult. So go figure. That is my long, long November TBR. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And what are you going to be reading this month? Let me know in the comments below and hit that subscribe button. Bye.